To Henderson County now, where crews are focusing on getting rid of dead leaves and logs that are fueling the Poplar Drive brush fire. In an update today, firefighters say they sent up a drone last night to identify heat sources that need to be put out. Crews say the fire is now 15% contained and covers more than 430 acres. More water resources will be assigned to the fire in the coming days. Two homes and an outbuilding have been lost. Another home sustained damage. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. And wildfire crews are hard at work to fully contain the fire. Medical professionals say there's a risk for short and long term respiratory issues. Rashad Williams is live in Henderson County. He has a look at the dangers associated with this prolonged exposure. Rashad. So today we spoke with a doctor from Prisma Health and she says a key factor that it really comes down to is the type of smoke that is inhaled. With the increased particulates that you see in smoke exposures with fires um, can irritate the linings of the lungs. Um, long exposures can um, also increase risk potentially of uh, cancer down the road, depending on what's in the um, smoke that's being um, released. According to the North Carolina Fire Service, crews have been working around the clock to put the fire out, splitting into two 12-hour shifts. Dr. Pennington says with exposure over a roughly 12-hour period, we want to reiterate some of these effects. It includes inflammation in the lungs, coughing, wheezing, shortness of breath, and even the risk for cancer down the line. According to the North Carolina Firefighter Cancer Alliance, all firefighters face a 9% higher rate of a cancer diagnosis than the general population and a 14% higher mortality rate due to the long-term exposure. I also want to make a quick note. According to the CDC, cancer is the number one cause of death among firefighters. Now, Dr. Pennington recommends anyone who lives in this immediate area Make sure that you stay on top of any air quality warnings that are issued. She also recommends for those with underlying health conditions before you go outside, put on a mask if you can. Live in Henderson County, Rashad Williams, WYFF News 4.